Support this channel by giving a thumbs up, subscribe, you can also send a super thanks, which is located above the comments. Before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cashback sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's Oasis. Hello everyone, welcome back to Community Wealth. Today I'm gonna go over the things that I don't like about Walmart Spark. Now let's go ahead and get to this list of things that I do not like. Okay, here's the first thing I don't like about Walmart Spark, all right? I don't like the hourly trips, okay? The reason why I say hourly trips is because it seems like for the most part, you get one trip an hour, and usually on your time slot. My time slot is the 25 minute of the hour. So it's 25 on the hour. So every 25 on the hour, they just say 925, 1025, 1125, I get what they call a round robin trip. That's the trip specifically for me. Okay? Now, that's fine, but you kind of got to time it out and it kind of messes up your money a bit. So let's just say, um, you miss an hour like so because they don't always come every hour and i guess it depends on how busy it is or whatever they have this thing called the zone they have like the zone times and the zone times is when walmart is busy now just because the zone shows that you're busy that doesn't mean well i should say the zone shows that walmart is busy that doesn't mean that deliveries are busy <laughs> you know what i'm saying so Sometime if I go early, they say if I started, let's say uh, 8.30 or let's say 8.25, that's when I'm supposed to get one. Because I, uh, I don't leave my house until I get an offer because I'm literally like a mile and a half, two miles from, uh, from my zone, from Walmart, from the Walmart over here in my zone. I started like 8.25. From 9.25 and 10.25, I may not get a trip. So now I just spent two hours waiting on a trip. All right? And that happened quite a bit so I learned to just go out later in the day so I started going out around 11 25 or uh, 12 25 because I know around that time it should be busy and lately I'll get something almost every hour all right almost every hour I say Friday Saturday Sunday I've been getting them every hour or if it skip an hour it'll still be Consistent with me making 130 150 dollars a day. Okay Yesterday I got one every hour actually I started at I turned on the app at 1115 I didn't get anything until 1225 But from 1225 on I was getting them all right I even get two in an hour a couple of times because they'll give you express orders Okay, and express orders you can get those at any time and I like express orders because they pay the most out of anything is usually averaging around fifteen dollars and express orders are usually not far. The furthest I ever went for an express order I think was five miles. Alright? But it's usually one or two miles, like literally down the street. And they're paying like twenty to twenty five dollars. You know, sometimes like I say you get them for fifteen. I think I got two or three ever for like fifteen, sixteen dollars. I think the smallest I ever got was like fourteen something. Fourteen, fifteen. But the largest I ever got for the express order was like twenty nine dollars. And the most of the time they're around twenty to twenty-five dollars for express orders. Okay. The hourly trips, I don't like that. I like to keep busy. Um, if I can get two or three in an hour, we're talking about easily between thirty and forty dollars an hour, easy. You know, 
and it's like I should get something as soon as I drop something off. So if it takes me 10 minutes to drop off an order, I feel like I should get another one coming. You know? But if it takes me 10 minutes to drop something off, I got to go back and wait. For the most part, I got to go back and wait till the 25 on the hour. But again, like I say, lately, on like on the weekends and Monday, I'll get them, you know, I won't say back to back, but sometimes I can get two in an hour. So it kind of makes up for it. All right. The second thing I don't like about Walmart's Park is unavailable and expired offers. That kind of go inside of what I was just saying. Unavailable and expired offers are offers that when you get them, you click accept. As soon as you click accept, it says offer no longer available. Which means I have to wait for another one. And yesterday it happened three times in a row. I turned on the app at 11.15. I didn't get anything. Around 12 o'clock, I got an offer for like $22. Accepted it. Offer no longer available. All right. And it doesn't take no time. It's like as soon as, I, as soon as it pop up, I hit it. Boom. Maybe like two, three minutes later. Happened again. This one was like for, I think it was for $16. Accepted it. Nothing. All right. Then it happened again. This one's for, I believe it was like $20. Accepted it. Nothing. Unavailable. Expired. All right. So that really gets on my nerves because how is it going just that quick? All right. How's it going just that quick? Just don't send me that stuff. If I can't get it, don't send it to me. You know, that's how I look at it. If I can't accept the offer, do not send it to me. You know, get your hopes up. You're about to start moving. Boom, make some money. Nothing. You know, I don't like that. That bothers the heck out of me. To me, it's it's false. So don't send me those if it's already taken or whatever. You know, say unavailable, expired. That's what it says. So I don't even know what the heck that means, all right? The third thing, this is a big one for me because it happened to me quite a few times. The trip accepted, but give it to another driver. And that's me accepting the trip. I accepted it. Okay, I accepted it. That's my offer. I go and I pull up in the bay and I'm waiting. And then you tell me that there's nothing available, another driver got it. The first time it happened to me, I didn't know what to think. Because I accepted this trip. I'm sitting in the bay for like 10 minutes. Alright? Because because this was actually a round. This is my round robin offer. Alright? This was been my offer. So I've been sitting there almost an hour already. Alright? So I go. I put in the bay. And I see the offer was for like, I think it was maybe 20 something. It was something quick too. It was something easy. I think it was just a couple of them, like some shirts or something I was going to drop out to a customer. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something still real simple. I know I had something to do with some shirts. Like some active wear shirts or something. So I'm sitting in the bay. The worker come out to me. And she asked what I had. I told her. And she's looking. And she's trying to find it. She's trying to find it. She said, oh, we gave it. I gave it to somebody about 20 minutes ago. I said, what you mean you gave it to somebody 20 minutes ago? What's going on? And she said, yeah, I gave it to somebody 20 minutes ago. So then I called customer service. All right. Well, driver support. So I called driver support and they said, Oh, yeah, it was given to somebody. I'm saying, Okay, what am I supposed to do about this? Because I've been waiting an hour already. I've been waiting an hour. All right. So what's supposed to happen here? You know, and they say, Well, you're going to be compensated. Kind of found a conversation like $2.50. So, so I just made $2.50 for the hour. I sat there and I got to wait another hour. <laughs> you know, you know, sometimes you don't have to wait another hour. Sometimes, but most times you do. But sometimes you might get an express real quick. All right. But I might throw you a GMD when I'm going to get into that later. Okay. Another time, what happened was I accepted the trip, pulled into the bay. They brought out everything to me, put it in the back of my SUV, right? They put it in the back. I'm waiting to check in because I didn't check in yet. They just come out. Sometimes they just tell you, you know, they can come in, boom, and hey, you know, you can get the order. So I'm waiting till because you can't check in five minutes before time for arrival. So if I get mine at 25, I can't, uh, uh, my, my expected pickup time is, uh, 45. So I can't check in till 40. All right. 
So I'm waiting to check in. So it's like 38, 39. Right? I'm about to I'm about to check in. Boom. Trip canceled. What the heck you mean a trip canceled? What's going on? What's what you mean a trip canceled? So this guy wanted another driver pull in on the side of me. They're taking the stuff out of my truck and giving it to him, putting him in his truck. Now hold on, wait, 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 what's going on? Right? So they canceled my order and gave it to the driver that just pulled in, but it's already in my truck, though. It's already in there, right? So I call driver support, they put in the ticket, and nothing ever happened. You know, nothing. They just said, well, he got it before me. And that was a bunch of nonsense. I like, got it before me, but I'm already there and it's in my truck, right? Um, whatever, whatever. All right. So I don't like that. That's that like that. That really pisses me off. All right. That right there. That pisses me off the most. All right. So now we're going to go to the next thing I don't like about the Walmart spark situation. And it's the dogs. All right. And I have some visuals for this one. I should have some visuals for the other things, but I'm gonna have some visuals for this, alright? So, this is the situation with the dogs, alright? Alright, in the previous video, I showed you this. I'm pulling up, alright? It's a nice house, by the way. You got a lake back there and everything. So, I'm pulling up. These dogs came from back here. Came from back here, blocked me off, pretty much. They start barking like crazy. They're not barking right now. They're, they're, I guess they're sizing up what's going on. The owner decided to come out, and I guess uh, they told me to pull around. I come around here. The husband grabbed the dog and he's walking off. He's grabbing about a collar. And I'm still hesitant to get out because he just basically holding them like real lightly. He's looking like they follow him. They're looking back at me. And she's telling me why well, I can get out the car right now. I'm like, no, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But you know, and this was actually part of a GMD order, all right? It was a it was a nine stop. This was part of a GM, GMD order, okay? So she only had one item, and she was even surprised that I brought the one item because she had scheduled to pick it up herself, right? So this incident was this was the first time I ran across dogs, all right? And so this made me realize, okay, this is going to be an issue doing this because I don't know what the dog situation is going to be about, okay? And there's another incident right after that. I say maybe a couple of houses later, part of GMD, where the dogs ran up on me and pretty much chased me out. You know, they didn't run up on me while I was out because I always, since this happened, I sit in the car and I wait to see if a dog gonna approach. And that dog, you know, they was pretty much surrounding my car. They couldn't surround the car. It seemed like they were just coming right here. So I don't know if they got like a, a, a an invisible fence or something, electrical fence. I don't know. But they just pretty much stayed right here. And we came and got him. He just walked him back there. All right. Now here's another incident. Here's a dog right here. All right. I pull up. So, I don't know where I'm supposed to drop the groceries at because it was actually a porch over on this side. And I guess it comes all the way over here and this is the door. So, here's the dog. But the but the leash was very long. We were talking about the leash. It looks like it could wrap around the house, right? So, I said, well, you know what? I blew the horn a couple of times. You know, I hit driver support. The person never came out. So, I just left, right? I'm not about to deal with this. You know, the dog probably wasn't going to do anything. I don't know. But I wasn't trying to find out the hard way. So, you know, back to Walmart, your groceries go. So I took it back to Walmart. So I don't like that. Yesterday, I had a situation where I was dropping off an order. And I've been to this place plenty of times. There was a mobile home. I've been to her mobile home plenty of times. And I knew she had dogs. She had two. They usually in the back. But this time... I go, I drop off her bin, I drop off her uh, her case of water, and she's opening the door, you know, talking to me, saying something, and, you know, I see the dog, like, coming past her, like, she's trying to stop the dog with her leg. Listen, you can't stop a dog with your leg. Stop trying that. Stop trying that. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. When I was doing Uber Eats, somebody did that, right? Another Walmart situation when I was in Winter Haven, uh, a, a, a lady did that, trying to stop the dog with her leg. Stop doing that because this is what happened. The dog got past her leg and came at me. Fortunately, the dog didn't bite me. It was sniffing on me and all that stuff. But I hate it. It bothers me. I don't like dogs. I'm not an animal hater. I just don't like dogs. I don't know you're a dog. I was traumatized as a child with dogs chasing me growing up biting me and stuff so I don't I don't deal with dogs I don't like them at all okay but anyway so that's the situation with that 
that's the fourth thing I don't like about Walmart's part. I don't like the dog situation, okay? Five, weather. Weather kind of don't bother me that much because I don't drive in the rain. If it's raining, I don't go out. If it's raining, I stop, okay? Now, there was a situation where I picked up an order and it started raining. I didn't pick it up, but I accepted it and it started raining. Fortunately, again, like I say, I get mine at 25. I don't pick it up to 45, all right? So when I accepted it, I pull in, it started pouring down raining. All right, it started pouring down me, pouring down hard, thunder and everything. Pouring down me just came down hard. And so they waited till it started raining. I was cool with that, you know, whatever. It just waited till it started raining. They brought me the stuff out. It was quite a big order too. I took it to the place. It was damp. You know, fortunately where I went to, I was able to drop that item off, and uh, and they had a they had a, a gravel driveway going up to their house. They, uh, they have the back by a lake, but when I got there, everything was paved, and they have a really nice house. So and I just put the stuff in the garage, so it wasn't even out where it can be wet because they had a garage door open. They actually have in the app what to do, so I put the stuff in the garage. All right. Another time, it started raining. It was drizzling right at the tail end. My last delivery. That was my last delivery too, by the way. The one where it was raining real bad. Um, I had another one where I would. I'm familiar with this location too, and I've been there several times. They was off the lake as well. I went and I dropped their stuff off. It was drizzling, and I rang the doorbell. Knock, boom. Yeah, that was my last one for the day. So, but again, like I said, when it's raining, I pretty much shut it down, or I don't go out if it's raining before time. And after it stopped raining, I usually don't go out because the ground and stuff is still wet. I'm not trying to, you know, have a situation where they say their bags are wet or the box was wet or whatever. Or I don't like getting mud on my truck. You know, you go into red dirt areas and areas that's not paved. And I don't like that. And we're going to get into that soon, too. So it's the weather. I don't like the weather, all right? Crazy addresses. Crazy addresses. The next one. I do not like crazy addresses my very first spark delivery i went to an area where it, i didn't know what the heck was going on i don't know what in the world was going on it was i was in the i was in some backwoods somewhere you know and it was a gated area not even a real gate it looked like some don't trespass type stuff it was like some area where they probably doing some uh, some utility work back there so, so i didn't know what the heck was going on i just saw a bunch of trees and a dirt trail. So somebody pulled up behind me. I guess they were wondering what I was doing because I was trying to figure out I can call these people. He opened the gate. I'm like, okay, I guess I go in there. So I'm going in, and then as I'm going in, I'm starting seeing addresses on like uh, tree line trails. <laughs> you know, tree line trails, dirt, and I see uh, 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 street names in the you know street. You know, like go this way. This is this street. Let's go this street. But it was like dirt trails. So what the heck? So I finally found out where I was going. It was way back in the woods with a mobile home and, you know, and that was that. And then I had, it was kind of hard for me to get out of there too. But I'm going to show you some other situations that I had to deal with with crazy addresses, all right? This right here, all right? I don't know if you can see this right here, all right? I don't know if you can see this. This right here, it says dead on this mobile home, all right? You see, I dropped the grocery right here. You see that? So I dropped the grocery right there. All right, I pull up over here. I didn't know what the heck was going on. This was like my second delivery of the day this day. Dead right there. See this big old hole? There's shovels and stuff in there, right? This I didn't know what the heck was going on. I was kind of made my hair stand up on the back of my head, on the back of my neck. All right, and over here was where I put in it. And there's nothing but woods around here, as you can see. You can see this little house right here, but nobody was there. And this is the street. It's actually paved. But all this is just dirt, nothing but dirt and sand. Woods. I'm parked by the woods. I saw this big old hole. I was like, okay, I don't know if it's a bonfire. I don't know what that was going on. So they got a lawn chair there. So I didn't know. And you see what it looks like around. I just, I didn't know what that was going on. So I dropped off the groceries, right? Now here's another shot of the place. Look at that. See, I dropped the groceries. See, here's the, here's the hole. See the shovels in there. See the shovels in there, right? See the word dead. See the wood. This is where I was parked at. Put in and, and and it goes down it's like it's like a it's like a slant. It goes down. So and here are the woods. This is where I was at. Nothing but woods over here. I just I just dropped them groceries off. Took a picture real quick and I was out. All right, I was out of there. 
I wasn't trying to figure out what's going on with all this. I'm just looking at the whole place. And it took me a while to even put it driveway because I'm looking like, is this the right place? Because it looked like it, it could be abandoned, right? <laughs> you know? But I saw the light on. I seen the air conditioner. I heard the air conditioner's going. I'm looking at the roof. I'm like, what the heck going on, right? So anyway, that was that house, all right? All right, now here. This is actually a road, all right? This is called Cemetery Something Road, all right? I know, crazy, right? So this is me driving. This is a red, this is red dirt. This is why I say I don't like driving in the rain. Look at this red dirt, right? And you saw even the last picture I just showed you where there's nothing but sand and dirt. So I don't, it's on my truck. I don't, I don't like that. All right, so this is it. I'm driving now. I'm driving two and a half miles into this. All right, there's two and a half miles into this. Nothing but orange grows and it's just, this is where I'm going, right? All right, this is where I get to. This is a cross street. All right, this is a cross street. This is here. It's a cross street. I, there's nothing over here. Nothing. Nothing but orange groves and trees and bushes, right? So, like I said, this is part of the cross street. So, now I got to go in here. I got I to go right in here, all right? So, I'm pulling in. Private property. No trespassing. I'm just seeing nothing. Okay, because so where the heck am I going? Remember, I'm two and a half miles in the orange groves, right? So, this is where I'm going. I'm going in here now. I'm going in here because the GPS is telling me to keep going. It's telling me to keep going now. So, I'm like, okay, where the heck am I going? So as I'm driving, I finally see something. I'm seeing garbage cans. I say, okay, who the heck lives back here, right? Who the heck lives back up in here? I'm seeing garbage cans. I see a house over here, and I see a house right here. I even pulled up over here and backed up. And I pulled right here, because I didn't know which house to go to. It was only two. So I pull in right here, and I get out the truck. Well, actually, I waited for a minute. He rolled down the windows, turn the radio down, see if I hear any dogs. I'm seeing weird stuff, right? So I waited. Okay, so I'm over here. I parked on this side of the uh, SUV because it was this fence right here. So I'm thinking, okay, what am I supposed to do? And so the lady comes out and she's telling me I'm supposed to go to this house over here, which is her mother's house. All right. So she so she walked over to her mother's house and I went in. She told me to back into the you know the little canopy area. So that's what I did. Okay. That's what I did. So that's what I did. But come to find out, as I'm talking to them, I'm like, when well, y'all live back in the sticks, and she said, yeah, I love it like this. The older, older lady, which is her mother, she says she owns all of this. This is nine acres of her land. Did she own nine acres of the orange groves, okay? But, again, you're back in the sticks. You're way back in the cut somewhere. I shouldn't be back here. You know what I mean? I should be back here. I felt very uncomfortable. You know, this lady here said she didn't have, she got the dogs. Her mother didn't have any dogs. So, I had to come back around here. See that curve? I went up in there. Pulled in. Boom. Gave her stuff. We talked a little bit, and I left. Okay. Now right. here's one that tripped me out. All right, see this, this right here. I don't know what the heck is going on back here. I wasn't about to try to figure it out. All right, this is an address I had to deliver to. Okay, what's going on? I don't know. This was it was like a very narrow road, right? It was a very narrow road. I couldn't even turn around. I had to back out this narrow road. I had to back, and it, was, it wasn't even a narrow road. It was a grassy dirt trail. It was a grassy dirt trail that brought me back here. I'm assuming this is that. I don't know what that is. I didn't even try to stick around to find out. I waited for maybe like two minutes, and I'm looking around. They had chickens running around all over the place. It was just crazy. So I said, you know what? Let me get up out of here. So I backed out. I backed out. And I took the stuff back to Walmart. Okay. I'm not trying to figure this stuff out. I'm not about to get out here and walk through this mess. Why you even got me delivering over here? If you know you living like this, what in the world am I supposed to do with you? Nothing. This is just ridiculous. So I backed out and I left. I don't know what the heck is going on. What's going on, junk? I mean, what the heck is this? I don't I don't know. Oh, this is just barricade. I call this the barricaded address. Look at this. What 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 the heck is this? What is it? What, 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 what is happening? What is happening? You know what I'm saying? What's happening? It's like some stuff from, from, uh, from The Walking Dead or something. I mean, I don't know what's going on. It's like after, after the apocalypse or something. I have no, it's, it's, it's crazy. So, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. Crazy addresses, all right? So, large orders, apartment buildings, okay? Large orders, apartment buildings. See, stuff like this. This is a lot of stuff, all right? I have plenty of apartment buildings where I have to take stuff up like this. You know, this is this is ridiculous. This actually went to a house, but I was showing you the type of stuff that's happening, all right? This stuff like this, all right? 
This is the most crazy. This is 10 cases of water. 10 cases of water, right? So, fortunately, again, this didn't go to an apartment building, this particular order. But I'm showing you the type of stuff that I had to take three, four cases of water to the third floor before. Third floor. I don't like that. You know, if you got large orders, multiple bags, I mean, some people say you got to have this type of thing. But look, if I got to go to the third floor, it ain't happening. I mean, I do it because it's, it's what I have to do if I take the order, right? Some people will cancel it. But with Walmart canceling orders, they really don't like that. I mean, no app really does, but Walmart is very picky on that. Very particular about that, I should say. But this type of stuff, taking up the three flights of stairs, even the second floor. Even the second floor, all right? Fortunately for this, I had the back end. It was a mobile home, and I got the back right up to it. Boom, and I put it on the back porch, all right? But I've had orders where I had at least three cases where to take up to the third floor. And some some part of buildings stairway is narrow. Wide and narrow, and you get your equilibrium off a little bit. There's one particular apartment building. I don't like going there because even if I got bags, I feel like I'm gonna fall or something. You know? So that's pretty much what's going on with this. That's why I don't like large orders in apartment buildings. Because second and third floor stuff. Especially the third floor. Mm -mm. And then a lot of apartment buildings, you got to walk through the corridor. So it's not even in the front. You got to walk across and you go to the other side. Right? You got to go to the other side. Now you're not on the side you came in on. You're on the other side and you got to walk over to the other side. All right? You got to walk over there. All right? And that even makes it worse. <laughs> you know? So I don't like apartment buildings, particularly apartment complexes. Okay? Different loading standards. This is this is very specific to the different Walmart zones, the different Walmart zones. The Walmart zone I met, the Walmart I work at mainly, my main Walmart. I like them. They're lenient. They're pretty fast. I know everybody. Everybody get along. They they look out for me. You know, they tell me what's going on. They come to me, let me know what's up. I went to another Walmart. Yeah, you might say, well, you don't know that there are people at that Walmart, but they were not personable at all. I mean, even at the Walmart I'm at, they let me help with the stuff, get it in there quick, boom. If I have female loaders, I don't let them load cases of water. I get the cases myself and they like that. You know, I really help them out. You know, we get stuff done quicker. Again, they talk to me, let me know the ins and outs, what's going on and all this other good stuff. They would let me know what orders are coming through. They let me know a lot of stuff. The other Walmart that I went to, the other zone, it's two Walmarts in that zone. The one, the first Walmart is like nothing happened at all. It's nothing. It's like, I don't even know why I was sitting there. The other Walmart further down, that Walmart, they're, I mean, they're, 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 I mean, they're unorganized. They're very non-personable. You know, I remember when I did it the first day, they, I mean, the, for one, it was taking forever to bring me the stuff. I had to talk to them. They didn't know what the heck was going on. They brought me twice. They brought me the basket full of stuff. I mean, I'm used to the carts. Uh, uh, they're coming out with the, like the, uh, the little carts with the uh, with the crates, and they having the stuff in the crates with the stickers. This one, no, they threw the stuff in the basket. They threw it in there, set the basket by my SUV, and said, "Here you go," and left. I'm like, what the heck? When the, you you what? You leaving? <laughs> you know, they didn't say I just left. Here you go and left. That happened twice that day. Twice. Only had like about a certain amount of orders that day. And this Walmart supposed to be so busy. Only made like 50 some bucks that day. So I was not happy at all. You know, we're not happy at all. I went again one day. And I got an order. It was only going like 2, maybe 2.2 miles or something like that. I think it was for like $13. 2.2 miles, right? So I got it. But I sat there for at least... I probably at least 20 30 minutes for them to tell me that it was a partial order because uh, it was just something that was left so they brought it out it was a pizza they brought out a pizza. I was like cool I just take a pizza over here no problem a pizza for $13 I'd do it when they brought the pizza out which after 20 30 minutes it didn't have a label on it so I couldn't scan it so I'm like okay what the heck so I'm calling them they calling over there well, even when I they had me call I've never called the number they had me call the number 
I didn't. I never called. So I'm calling them. They act like they didn't, didn't want to do nothing. They had an attitude. Everybody had an attitude. People didn't want to do anything. They was complaining. I'm a driver. I'm trying to deliver this stuff. What y'all complaining about? Do your job, right? So Nisa said, I never went back to that Walmart. I had to do everything. I had to uh, go drop it off, take a picture. Uh, remember, I never scanned it. So I had to call driver support so they could close it out. So I can move on, right? So I had to call them to close it out because it, it, it was just a mess. So different standards, different loading requirements at different Walmarts. It's crazy how 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 important that is, but I learned the hard way. All right, I never went back to that Walmart again. I really don't make any money over there, and they're disrespectful, non helpful. It's just unorganized. I just couldn't deal with it. This Walmart, I'm consistently making about twenty five dollars an hour, so I'm cool with that. All right, cancel trips, no trips. All right, this goes into what I was saying earlier. You don't want to cancel trips, all right? When you cancel trips, it seems like you get punished. You cancel the trip, even if it's not that day, it'll be the next day. You cancel the trip, it seems like you don't get orders for like an hour or so, all right? An hour or so, right? You already got to go to that anyway, but you cancel the trip is even worse, all right? And they have it where at first I can call driver support and they cancel it. But now they want you to cancel it, and it does go against you unless it's a certain, unless it's a certain, a, 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 a certain, um, a certain excuse, a certain reason. So whatever reason code, then it won't go against you. But most of the stuff is going to go against you now. My acceptance rate is up to ninety-four percent, so I'm cool. I got all the way down to eighty-six percent, but I'm up at ninety-four percent, so it's cool. But when you cancel trips, the algorithm really doesn't like it all right they really don't like it at all um even if you get orders the rest of the day the next day you're gonna suffer you're not gonna get anything for some hours all right i don't like long trips either that's number 10 i don't like long trips long trips are ridiculous because they don't make sense all right and i'm gonna tell you this one I, for a while i think for like about over two weeks they kept giving me long trips and i think because i was canceling trips like I canceled the GMDs and stuff like that. I canceled the, the, the shopping delivers. I canceled those. I didn't want to do them. So for like the two weeks that it gives me long trip, you're talking about uh, 12 miles for like $10. You know, 13 miles for $14. And then you might think, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, it is. Because remember, I got to come back to my zone. So if I'm driving 13 miles for $14, I actually drove 26 miles for $14. That's actually what really happened. Right. This last time, this last really long mile I had was uh, the long trip I had was 20 miles, 20 miles for thirty nine dollars. You might say that's not bad. I got to come back. Right. I got to come back. So that's actually 40 miles for thirty nine dollars. All right. And here's the here's the kicker part. If it wasn't for that seven dollar tip, it would have been 20 miles for thirty two dollars. See what I'm saying? And I got to come back. Now, fortunately, after I dropped it off, because I was in somebody else's zone, I was way in another zone. All right. There is actually a, a, a Walmart over there. All right. That caters to that area. It's a Walmart right there. So I don't know even why I was going over there. Even when I was going to the location where, uh, where, where they're very unprofessional at, and I was going to that Walmart, I've delivered in their, in their zone before from my Walmart that I mainly work at. That's where the 13 and 15 miles come in to play because they're sending me to that zone too, right? So those are long trips as well. But the 20 miles for $39, again, if it wasn't for the $7 tip, that would have been 20 miles for $32, which actually is 40 miles. I got to come back to my zone. But again, fortunately, I got another trip right after that. But that trip was only for $12, right? So I'm coming all the way back to my zone to another 20 miles back and I go to the uh, the uh, I go to a warehouse or a factory. I go to a factory, and that was so ridiculous. That was uh, whatever. I, I I don't I'll probably cancel that if, if I see the address again. I cancel that. All right. But anyway, long trips. I don't like them. Only positive about long trips is that's guaranteed money because usually most of the uh, pay is delivery fee because it's a long trip. So. 
that's that's your thirty two dollars, yeah, but was it really worth it? All right. And this goes into the GMD trips. I don't like dream, D, GMD trips, and I call a GMD trip more than three stops. Most batches are two stops. And my last few orders, I say for the last couple of weeks now, um, were one stop orders, for like twenty some bucks. So hey, you know, and that's included with the express. So I like those. But GMD trips, I say more than three. They usually three or more. But that's multiple multiple stops in one trip. And my very first one, which I showed you with the black dogs and they came at me, that was a nine stop. So usually they nine and ten stops. I took a few of these, which is probably why they started to like me more again with the algorithm. So I took a few of those. But I don't like them because they're long trips and it takes up a lot of time because you're going to these multiple stops. And sometimes these people don't even know you're coming. All right. You got to go to Getty communities. Uh, you're going to places where you don't know where you're going. I've, that's actually when I got uh, harassed, which we're going to go into that as the next one, as you see. The next one. I got harassed. You know, I'm sitting in areas that people don't know I'm there and they're looking weird. And they're like, okay, well, who is this guy? You know, so I don't like those. Now, what I do like about GMD trips is that's guaranteed money. Because GMD trips have no tips. All right. So if a GMD trip is $35 or $40, that's your 35 or 40 bucks. That's yours. You're going to get it. You don't have to worry about nobody taking tips back. All right. Now I forgot to add that on here too. I don't like fake tips. I forgot about that one. So I add that in as a bonus. All right. But I don't like GMD trips because they take up too much time. All right. So in two hours, you made $35. I could have made uh, 45 to 60 bucks in two hours in the same time frame. All right. So anyway. The last one I'm going to, that's listed here is racism. Okay. Racism. All right. I really don't like that part of it. All right. Racism is a big thing. All right. It, 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 it really is. It really is. Um, I've counted it multiple times, but one time in particular, one time in particular, and I really didn't like this because I was in a mobile home community. And I've been there several times. So this kind of threw me off. I've been there several times. Have my flashes on. I'm looking for the address. I stopped to let the guy who behind me go around. He's in a white pickup truck. I let him go around. But he didn't go around. He kind of like he jerked his car. Like he was irritated. And he swung around me. Reached over to roll down his window. He had a roller. He had to, you know, he had to crank. So he had to roll down his window. And so I'm in front of the mobile home. I asked him. I said, hey, you know, you stay here? Um, he said, no. I would just like to know what you're doing in my neighborhood. You sitting here with your reverse lights on and things like that. Well, I didn't even have reverse lights on. So I didn't know where you got that from. This was some old punk stuff, right? Because you're making up stuff to, I guess prove what you're saying to me when I know I didn't have my reverse lights on. And even if I did, remember, I'm looking for an address, right? <laughs> so he says that. So I say, uh, I'm doing Walmart deliveries. And he says, with your reverse on, I say, yeah, I have to find an address. It's in the app. So I held my phone on and pointed to it. He could see it. And he just said, uh, then pulled off real fast, right? And fortunately, the next mobile home up was the address I was looking for, right? So I got out and I talked to her. She's an older lady and I told her what just happened. She was apologetic and everything, but whatever, apologies, whatever. You need to, y'all need to check y'all people, all right? Check your people because I'm doing my business. I'm doing my job. You bothering me, you know? So just leave me alone. What am I, what am I doing over there? Really? With my flashes on? So I'm going to stalk people's houses with my flashes on? Look at my addresses, really? I'm just going to do it in broad daylight? You know what I'm saying, really? that That's what we're doing? That's what they do. They dress up like delivery people and, 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 and stuff like that and police officers and harass people. That's what they do. Not us. We ain't about to do that. You know, that's what they do, right? But anyway, so racism is a big thing. If you're not, if, if you're of that race, you probably ain't got to worry about it. You know, but me, it happens quite a bit. That's why I'm 
so sociable while I'm out because I'm trying to give you because for some reason they're afraid of us. I don't know what it is. We didn't cause this stuff, but they're afraid of us. So I try to give off, a, you know, a approachable, uh, uh, an, an approachable vibe, you know, so you won't feel threatened by me delivering your groceries. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. And for the most part, they talk to me. People just just start talking to me because I am approachable. You know, I've been inviting people houses. I don't usually go in, but I've been invited all the, you know, quite a bit. You know, we're just talking and things like that. You know, they get the groceries. They they they, they shooting the stuff, telling me their business, and they telling me about their property, they telling me about where they came from, and they do all of that. That's for the most part. But there are those ones that make me say, man, this is a problem out here, right? It's a problem out here. Okay. And now we're gonna go into the fake tips. That's the bonus. The fake tips. I'm sure. Every delivery app goes through this. I heard about it with DoorDash. I heard about it with Uber Eats. Actually, I had it happen with Uber Eats too. And uh, I heard it with Instacart. But the fake tip is basically when someone puts a big tip on there for you to go and deliver the groceries, right? They may have a lot of items. The last one I had to think was like 40 something items. With the 40 something items, I went and delivered the groceries. It was a $15 tip. So, once I delivered the groceries, I know that the tip wasn't on there anymore. You know, it wasn't there. And, of course, you see the tips the next day. So, I would notice it the next day that the tip was like, my earnings was way less. I'm like, okay, hold on. So, they took the $15 tip back. And I called about it. They say it happens a lot. You know, and they're going to, I guess, try to fix it. Hope they do something like Instacart where they give them guaranteed tips. You know, guaranteeing tips. So, the person, you know can't take it off but yeah that's I don't like fake tips fake tips is a problem and people should be banned from the apps for doing it even the first time all right but anyway that's it those are my things I don't like about Walmart spark but apparently I'm still doing it I still average $25 an hour I'm still doing over a hundred to 120 150 dollars a day doing it so it's decent money it's cool especially when it's going good but when things happen things happen and just got to tell you guys about it all right so anyway hope this helped you out and thanks for watching if you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports from all three bureaus TransUnion, Equifax and Experian click the credit monitoring link in the description below if you would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your own vehicle, then click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below. And that way you can hire a car and use that vehicle to then Wealth Dash and make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your own time. If you want to know how I got five properties for $5,500, click the Be Free link in the description below. And if you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back link in the description below. Like, share the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to It's Oasis, and until the next video, Let's get this money.